finally back posting a video again, and I'm really excited to share with you, I finally finished my pencil skirt. This has been a long time coming. And actually, I'm gonna take you back in time for a little bit. I created a video about two months ago before I constructed the skirt to kind of give you some hints that I needed to learn about constructing the skirt. Um, but I never posted it because the audio quality wasn't very good. I've moved into a new 100-year-old house. It's got squeaky floors, loud air handlers, but it does have a nice sleeping porch where I've been able to put a rack with all of my Alabama Chanin clothes that I've made or purchased along the way. So I'm really excited. Um, so let's go watch the other video and then we'll come back and I'll tell you a bit more. Hi, it's Sue with Everyday Artisan again. I know it's been a long time, but I've been busy. I've been moving into a new house and the great part about this house, and one of the reasons I chose it, is it's got area in the basement for me to set up my stitching studio again. I've kind of been living out of boxes for the past year or so, so it's gonna be so great to have all of my supplies in one place. And it's really motivating me to get back to stitching. And in that case, this means finishing my tartan pencil skirt, which has been probably six months, if not longer, in the making. Um, I had the jacket on, I finished it first, and love it, I still wear it all the time, just individually, um, but this is gonna make me have a little bit of a suit, although I'll probably still wear the pieces individually most of the time anyway. I wanted to vlog, vlog about this because <laughs> I've had a hard time with pencil skirts in the past. So when I went down to the workshop, down in Florence at the factory in 2015, I bought this skirt and I love it. It is beautiful, it matches everything, it's so versatile. Um, it, it's actually a lightweight material, so it's just really flowy and fun. Um, it's got a few things that would have been new to me to try. I tried to recreate it, I came, brought it home, laid it out on a piece of paper, cut out a pattern, cut out what would be the kick plate or the Godot, and said, okay, I'm gonna try and recreate it, but it's got a couple tricky things on it. Um, it has little um, seams here and here to kind of cinch it in a little bit. Um, so I'll show you my attempt. I made a, this skirt. Um, somehow in my patterning, patterning, I ended up making it quite a bit shorter, um, which I'm not sure how that happened, but uh, it's still wearable, even to work. Um, but this is uh, the Aurora stencil, and I cut out the white shapes and appliqued them on top. In this case, my air compressor for airbrushing had kind of stopped working, and so I just went ahead and drew the shapes cut them out, I markered on the black fabric where the shapes went, and then appliqued the white shapes on top. Um, but the real trick came with the kick pleat, the Godot. You can see I actually even did it without any stencil on it. Um, I thought that would make it a little more interesting. And this was a challenge for me, not being a traditional sewer, I wasn't sure how to put this triangle piece of fabric in there. And I had sewed the center back seam first before I tried installing this. So it got really wonky. I think I had to put it, take it in and out like three or four times before I could get it to lay flat. So now that I'm assembling the tartan skirt, I wanna make sure I do it right. And to that end, I went on the website, uh, the Alabama Channel website, and looked for the instructions and I didn't find them in where the patterns, where you would buy the pattern for the pencil skirt, but I did find it currently in the DIY custom kits. There is a Maggie's Dream pencil skirt custom kit that you can order and if you look in the details about that, you can find a link to the instructions. So I was gonna show them on my computer, but my computer has decided to uh, shut down. 
So my biggest question was, how do I insert this good day? And that was, it's pretty simple. If I had any traditional sewing knowledge, I would have known this to begin with. But the way to do that is to sew it to one side first. So I currently have the little good day pinned onto one side of my skirt. Wrong, I put pinned right sides together, excuse me, because I want my um, seam to be on the inside. I don't want them to show. And I am going to felt them. So I'm gonna get to it. I'm gonna attach the go day. Then I'm going to sew. Uh, once that's on, I'll attach the other side of the skirt to it. Sew that together. Sew the two seams to put the front on. Fell all my seams. I like really like the look of a felt seam. And then put my elastic waist, my binding on the top. And then hopefully I will have a skirt, maybe even by the end of today. So hang tight and let's hope I get back on this video real soon. All right, welcome back to the present. And I do have a correction to make because it's been so long, the Maggie's Dream pencil skirt DIY kit is no longer on the Alabama Channon website or the School of Making website, I should say. So I went to the School of Making website, into the search bar, I just typed pencil skirt, and that brought up three things. You can find the Maggie's Dream skirt that way, and the instructions are still on there, but the skirt kit itself isn't available. But as we know, Alabama Channon's so good that they would make it for you if you still wanted it. Um, there's also, currently available, there's a faded stripe pencil skirt kit. The instructions are on there also. And then I think they just have a plain pencil skirt kit, but I didn't see the instructions on there. But don't worry, they're still on the website. You can still find them. And it is probably one of the easier pieces to make. Certainly easier than the car coat. Like I said, I'm almost done with the whole outfit. I do still need to, there are pockets that I could attach to the coat if I wanted, or I was wondering even if I wanted to attach it to the skirt. Um, and the closure, and I need to tack down the facing or do something like that, because you'll notice it kind of crumples up a little, because that's not my most technical area. Um, but I'm really excited to be done with it. I've already worn it to work one time and plan to do it a lot more. And what I'd like to do is in my next video, I'm going to do a little try on session for you and I'm going to mix and match these pieces, with some of these pieces. So tune in for my next video. Thanks.